Falafel, New Jersey, here I come, Mahmoud, the best place for falafel in New Jersey. I'm very hungry, but very cold also, so I cannot wait to get inside this place called Mahmoud. It's a house of beautiful homemade falafel. It's been in New Jersey for years and also have a location in New York. I've been to the New York one, yet to try that New Jersey location. I'm going inside, I'm going to check it out and see what they offer. I feel like falafel, I'm going to try this out. I'm also going to somewhere else to do kebab, a shawarma. I'm going to go to two different places and check it out together. And we're going to review each place and see what we recommend. Let's go inside and check it out, everybody. Okay guys, here we come to this beautiful falafel and look at this falafel and I'm going to take a patty out of it to so show you what is that. Falafel is actually a Middle Eastern food. It's made with chickpeas and it's made also with some spices, cumin, sinatra and all of that good stuff. And look at this patty, let's try it out here. By itself and it tastes so good. So we're going to get for the first bite here of the day. And I'm going to try it with the hot sauce. They have beautiful mamoon mix, beautiful hot sauce. I recommend it. I tried that before. I'm just doing this video for you guys today. And uh, beautiful, very nice taste. Very, very beautiful. Let's go and have a bite. Mmm, very yummy. Nice bread. Nice, beautiful homemade bread. It's the same way they serve it in the Middle Eastern country like Syria, Egypt. And I had that in those countries and very close. The flavor is awesome. They're very generous, tons of tomatoes, cabbage, lettuce, tomatoes, and the falafel patty is sitting there in the bottom here, hiding from me. And also have very important ingredients. No falafel without tahini. Tahini is that beautiful creamy paste, and it's called the tahini sauce because it's made out of sesame, and it's so delicious. That connects everything together, and that's truly homemade. I really like it a lot. One more bite here. Mmm, very yummy. Don't forget the hot sauce. You know I like it hot. So we go for some beautiful hot sauce, and that's very, very hot. I really recommend it. If you like heat, if you don't like heat, stay away from this guy. That guy is nasty, he's so mean. But this falafel is so stunning, just so delicious. One nice bite I try to get here, and I get everything in one bite. Mmm. Beautiful. Very hot, very beautiful sauce. Magic here. This is magic in a bottle. I love this sauce. This is my favorite. It's so hot though. So I warn you, it's very, very hot, but very delicious. And that's wonderful. And look here. I ordered a side of grape leaves here. Came like four of them here. And also I see some turnip pickles. This is actually a turnip, something like beets. So it's very healthy, very good for you. Very nice pickle that goes very good with falafel as well. So you can top it up a notch and add some flavor to it. And that's so great. I love that turnip. You can only have that in Egypt. And some of the Mediterranean countries, they have it too. Right, Egypt is very famous with that. Love it a lot. And the grape leaves, here they are. Let me put this falafel here for a second. Let me put that guy to rest. And I'm going to be back to you, baby. I'm not going anywhere. And look here, the grape leaves. Look at those beautiful grape leaves made out of rice, made out of... Uh, I believe it has some meat here. I'm not sure yet. Let me try it out. No meat, just rice, lemon, some herbs. Not my favorite out of the two. It's good if you like your grape leaves with the meat, but I'm not a big fan of meat. Not bad at all, but it's not my grape leaves the mother make. My mom make better than that, but I'm liking it. I'm not saying I hate it or anything, but I recommend the falafel. So far, that's a winner. It has some flavor, but not authentic. This is made in Egypt usually, and it's very, very nice and uh, yummy. And it has a very unique mixture. And I grew up in this stuff. I ate tons of that when I was a kid. Just wanted to bring some here for you guys to show you what it is. It is healthy, it's delicious. But if you haven't had my mom's one, you wouldn't know the difference. But I have had mom's, so I'm not eating that for now. I'm going back again to this falafel. And look at that generous amount of lettuce, onion, greens everywhere. And the hot sauce in my hand, I already topped it up. And that's delicious. Very, very nice. One more bite. Very good. Thumbs up. My moon thumbs up this falafel. The grape leaves is okay. Not my favorite. This I give it an eight and a half out of ten. This I give it a three out of ten. I'm sorry about that, my moon don't hate me. But I'm being honest here, I'm gonna tell you what I think. 
I'm an eater, so I gotta tell you what I think. This is perfect. Great job. You need some lesson from my mom with this one, Mamun. If you want, I help you out with my mom. She's a good teacher. She'll teach you how to make it. But great falafel. I love it a lot. Thanks so much, you guys, for this one, sharing this bite with me. And let's move on to another spot and try one more falafel or shawarma, whatever the menu you're gonna bring us today. So let's go and keep eating. second spot here the halal guys so the halal guys just run the corner from Mamun so I got myself a very nice platter it's very noisy here as you hear this music going along so I, I'm gonna talk loud so you can hear me and I'm shouting here looking at this platter here I ordered that combo and the combo came with the uh, beef which is here right here I got the chicken so I got the beef and the chicken you could order a combo so it comes with every meat all the meat together comes also with rice comes with like a pita bread here and all the sauces, it's all up to you, so you build up your own. Now, um, let me try some of this beef. I'll try with the beef first. It's good. Not getting my heart, but it's not bad. It's good, actually. Let's try the rice here. The rice is good, plain, nothing wrong with that. And then we go here, try some of that chicken here. There are tons of chicken. It's loaded, actually. Very, very generous. Very low, look how much chicken here. Wow, that's a lot of chicken here. And let me make like a little sandwich here. A mini little sandwich here. You have like lettuce, you have everything here, all in this plate. The only thing here I complain about, you know, the food taste so far is good. It's just all crowded. I don't like my uh, plate or my bowl to be crowded. I do understand it's the best food, it's the street food, but I think it should be spread out a little bit since it has tons of ingredients. But I'm not complaining. Nice bread, nice crispy bread. I like it. Very beautiful and it's so nice, very juicy, very nice the meat. The chicken is very juicy, very garlicky, it has flavor. Tons of flavor, a lot of onion, lots of tomatoes, very fresh, it tastes so good. Taste of it is very good, so I'm trying one more of that chicken. Mmm, very nice, it's all about that sauce, that delicious sauce. It's so good, very creamy. And I had some of the hot sauce here. Oh my God, so hot, but so delicious. That hot sauce is so good. I'm going crazy here eating all of that. Yummy, yummy. Chicken is wonderful. And you look at the beef here, look how much beef here. A little bit actually, I got tricked. I thought that was all beef, but it's actually chicken is a lot. The beef is a little bit less. Very thin, little piece of the beef. Not too thick. Beef is not my favorite. I skipped that one. I'll get back to my chicken. I think I know which one I like more. Chicken is a winner. I'm getting very happy here. And it's a messy experience. Just the dish is so messy, full of food. And you're gonna be hungry to eat all of that. And that's very inexpensive. Very good. Very nice. I'm not complaining, it's delicious. Also you have some greens. If you look here, let me clean myself up and keep going and explaining to you. Here they have the greens in the side of the plate. Just being crowded, it's very difficult to find out what's happening. I have a lot of onion, a lot of tomatoes, a lot of lettuce, and it's all covered with sauces. I wish that sauce came on the side, but they asked me and I said, put it in, but I didn't realize the sauce was gonna be a lot. Very good, actually, very nice experience. So get in your hand, get dirty, and try this experience. Try this experience and try this sauce, and there's so much sauce here. So much sauce, so much food here for very little money. All of this food, look at this platter, look how big this platter. All of this food, pile of food here, and all of this for nine dollars. That's very, very inexpensive and very good, honestly. It's so good, very good price. But the beef is not my favorite. It's kind of like that, it doesn't have, it doesn't do it to me. Something missing in that beef, maybe it's too crispy, maybe a little bit not fresh, I'm not sure. But I'm liking the chicken and the rice, nothing wrong with that. I'm using some kind of a non-green pasamati rice, which is nothing wrong with that. I like it a lot. 
different than Ma'amun. My other two, it's really cold. I give Ma'amun eight and a half. I will give this a seven. I wouldn't give it an eight. I would say seven. I've been generous here with the, my reviews. I've been honest as well. I'm not here. I'm not getting paid. I'm just telling you what I think from my experience. And I'm being honest. This is a seven. The other one, Ma'amun was eight and a half. But it's good. Maybe that's my opinion. Maybe you guys would like it better. But that's my opinion. And it is a great actually bite. Not bad at all if you're very hungry. And there's a lot of food to be eaten. So let me go hide somewhere and try to eat some more of my chicken. I'm loving it, guys. That was great, guys. The music is loud, but your traveling chef is even louder. I had a great time here. I ate beautiful falafel at Mamoun. We greatly recommend it. And here in the Halal, guys, I recommend the chicken so much. It was beautiful. Very juicy, very delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all your comments, likes, and subscriptions. Greatly appreciate it. I look forward for more. I want to see a lot of smashing for my uh, like button. Smash that subscribe also. Subscribe. Do all of the good stuff for your traveling chef. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Good night.